Chris Lowry leads a Southern Illinois program that has seen only 10 schools over the past five years win more games than the Salukis. They have had a hex against the Creighton Blue Jays and Dana Altman. Southern Illinois has won six straight times, and yet Creighton is red hot. They lead the league with a 6-2 and two record, looking for revenge tonight on the banks of the Missouri River. Egyptian dogs, the Salukis of Southern Illinois, have made the invasion trip north, attacking Omaha again, where they've won three straight times against the Creighton Blue Jays. America's Renaissance Conference, the Missouri Valley Conference, the nation's best non-BCS basketball league, continues its celebration of its 100th year tonight with an awesome game. At Quet Center Omaha, the league leaders, the Creighton Blue Jays, entertaining their old nemesis, the Southern Illinois Salukis. Hi everyone, I'm Mitch Holtis along with Coach Charlie Spoonhour. Creighton has been so very good in this fabulous building, and yet, Charlie, there's a big problem. Southern Illinois. Well, when you figure 84% of the time Creighton's going to win, and yet the last three times they've played here, Southern's come in and won. Six straight wins over one of the top teams in the conference. That's pretty tough, too. The Salukis have to keep Randall Falker out of foul trouble to win this game. Well, that's for sure because he's a force all the way around the basket. We've watched his development, but he does everything on the inside for his team. He's not going to shoot threes, but he's going to block shots, but he has to stay on the floor because if he does that, maybe then Tolliver does it. And now you've got fun. And there's your answer to a lot of problems right there. You've got a guy that can make the shot on his own. He can shoot if he's standing. He rebounds. He chases the ball down. But more importantly, he's a security blanket. Anytime things go bad, you can look to him. Southern Illinois does not have an exclusive patent on improved post players. Anthony Toller of the Creighton Blue Jays is one of the most improved players in the history of the league. It's Creighton and Southern Illinois in a great one. It is the largest crowd in Missouri Valley Conference history for a regular season conference game. 17,000 plus in attendance tonight at Quest Center Omaha, Southern Illinois, on the road against the Creighton Blue Jays. Let's take a look at our Bud Light lineups, a presentation of Bud Light, refreshingly smooth Bud Light, always worth it for the Salukis. A perimeter group that can score. Tatum, Young, and Mullins, all very effective. We talked about Falker. Shaw has improved average 12 points a game. For the Blue Jays, it's a mix of old and new. Isaac Miles, an outstanding freshman point guard. You know about Nate Funk. Watts hits big shots, and Tolliver controls the middle for Creighton. The head coach of Southern Illinois, Chris Lowry, the youngest head coach to coach in the NCAA tournament the last two years. It's almost biblical. As Coach Weber begat Coach Painter, who begat Coach Lowry. They all have won at Southern Illinois. And for the Creighton Blue Jays, the third winningest coach in the 100-year history of the Valley. Only Henry Ibe and Eddie Hickey have more wins in Valley basketball history than Dana Altman, the Creighton coach. He has a winning record against every team in the Valley except one, Southern Illinois. Let's take a look at Charlie Spoonard's keys to the game, brought to you by National City. To the Salukis, heat them up. That means get after them. Defense is the answer, but you have to do it without fouling. And then score versus the zone because you can bet pretty quickly in the ball game Creighton's going to go to the zone. For Creighton, eliminate turnovers. They had 21 Thursday night. They can't afford that tonight. And they've got to match the intensity because there's quite a bit of it. And if you don't have a ticket, don't come because it's full. Points from National City, the best banking rewards program around where you're in rewards points for doing the things you already do every day. Visit your local National City branch today for details. Now let's check in with our series history, brought to you by Sirius Satellite Radio, the best radio on radio. Visit Sirius.com. Southern Illinois, six straight. That means three straight wins in Omaha, although Creighton has the overall lead. I can't get over the fact that you can come into this setting and win. That's, that's the amazing thing. That speaks so well for Southern Illinois and the poise that their basketball team has had. Let's put it this way. Last year in this building, Charlie, Creighton was 15 and two. There are only two losses. 
to Randall or to Jamal Tatum and the Southern Illinois Salukis and Miami of Florida in the NIT. Well, you're in pretty good company right there. Miami of Florida's in pretty good company too. The first possession of the game is Southern Illinois. Game on in the 100th year of America's Renaissance Conference, the nation's best non-BCS league. 2-3 zone, it looks like it's matching out of the zone. You'll see, this is not your normal daddy's zone. You'll see people chasing people around. It's not going to be just stand and be passing. And let's be honest, Southern Illinois has been befuddled by zones this year. Well, you can see this. This has turned almost into a man right here. Tatum, though, pulls up with single digits on the shot clock. Good possession for Southern. Handled the basketball and then got a good shot in a basket. Tatum had 19 here last year in one of those three straight Southern Illinois wins. Now, this is what Southern does best, Charlie. They get right in your grill defensively for 40 minutes. And anytime there's a ball screen, there's your double team. Mullen sets up Falker. He'll get two shots. As Watts goes down hard with the Saluki center. You might as well expect that if you're Creighton. Every time you set a screen and dribble over, there's going to be a double team. And then if you turn the ball over, you had better scat back because you cannot afford to give up baskets in this type of situation. Falker at the line is 57 percent. That's kind of sneaky because he'll hit big free throws. Now he's been able to explode this year. How about the game he had against St. Mary's of California? 23 points, 11 rebounds, five blocks. And St. Mary's of California just got through beating Gonzaga last week. Falker, one of two, about his normal work. Three to nothing, Southern Illinois here early in Omaha. Creighton would prefer to run sets, but it is difficult to run a set from 45 feet. Creighton has yet to get the ball past the foul line. Oliver and Funk, very good in two-man game. Miles, the freshman. A nervous three. Nick Porter underneath. That's a block by Falker. Falker's good. He is first in the conference in block shots. Nick Porter chases the ball down, and that's a good sign for Dana Altman's ball club. But then when you try to get the ball up, you've got to go up strong because you're going to run into Falker right there. Well, you're with all. Hard to run an offense, Mitch. It's obvious. It's just not easy to do because there's people all over you. Tolliver sets up Miles, and there's a bump. That time the double team ends up being a foul. A reminder, our intermission report is brought to you by Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, where our love for kids just keeps on growing. Charlie will be talking with both coaches, some special features, and more. Fouls will be an issue in this basketball game. Shot not there. Southern Illinois making it real hard right now on Creighton. Young for three, pops it in. Just what you want if you're a road team. You establish your defense and then you get some baskets early. Tolliver deep catch, Porter. Foul by Shaw. <laughs> Do you think there's going to be any easy baskets tonight? I think we've answered that on both ends of the floor. So Nothing's easy. You go up, there better be nobody within 20 feet because you're going to get hit if you go up. Here comes the double team. Great pass. <laughs> and you might as well figure you're going to get blasted. Porter gets two shots here. 79% at the line. Now, Porter has kind of been up and down. He's been in double figures five of the last eight games, but he's just going to make good decisions at critical times. He's a very good athlete. That's the thing that's on his side in a game like this. He's athletic enough to make plays around the goal, but he's got to have good judgment, as you said. Creighton is on the board. Dane Altman's team gets two free throws, and this is what Creighton does best, and that is kind of run at you for 90 75 60 feet they'll change it up on you and make you think and no one enjoys thinking anymore it's just not <laughs> even Falker nice seal 
That's going to be on Funk, I believe. Foul on number 10, Nick Funk, his first, the team's second. Two team fouls on Creighton. Randall Funk with one, Oliver two. with the other. And Falker has drawn them both, once by running the floor and once by posting. We continue to talk about the improvement, but the, you see 44 in the right lane. You see him now at the left of your screen. And the kids shooting the free throw have improved as much as any two post players, I think, Charlie, as I've ever seen. They both have, and, and they've both worked hard, and it's fun to watch them, Mitch, because they both really, really give a great effort. 7 to 2, Southern Illinois. Dotzler on the floor, the sophomore. Watts. Creighton will keep it. Coach Altman thought there might have been a little body contact there somewhere in that sequence. Southern Illinois has played 19 games. All but four teams have been held under 65 points. Fun pull up. Falker with the board. He gets seven a game usually. He's after the ball tonight. This this is a big crowd, but sometimes that helps the opponents. Good ball movement. And another three. Young just hit from that same spot. 10 to 2, Southern Illinois. Southern's hitting shots. That's the, that's the big issue right now if they're going to do that. Tolliver right after Falker. There's a bump. That's on Young. Southern Illinois has yet to miss the field goal attempt. Number 15, Tony Young, his first, the team's third. Creighton 0 for 5 from the field. It's hard for them to get good looks here early. Mullins. Fouls, Mitch. That's the thing. Southern Illinois cannot afford the fouls. Not because they can't go to their bench, but they just don't need to get their defense backed off, and that's what's going to happen if this continues. Chris Lowry, a point of emphasis this year in the offseason, was trying to keep up his defensive intensity without fouling. Watts after Shaw, no finish. Nice move by Tatum. Tatum, no, and Watts with the rebound. Creighton could use a transition basket right now. It would help. Porter real good on inside dribble. Tatum has it. Creighton without a field goal. Down 10 to 2 early here in front of 17,000 plus. Well, that's the type of play Porter can make, but he needs to finish. Southern's got good movement. The ball changes sides of the floor. It needs to maybe get into the post area a little bit. But Two to shoot, Mullins. And a rebound to Dotzler. And Dotzler throws it away. The idea's good, though, Mitch. In a game like this, you have to get something in transition. Creighton in really a matchup zone. They tried to go to Shaw, deflected by Tolliver. Funk attacks blocked by Falker, his second block of the game. Tatum a little quick, Porter with the board. I'm glad we picked Falker as one of our guys because he's certainly playing on both ends of the floor. Well, he leads the league in block shots. He's living up to that reputation. 14-30 remaining in the first half. Creighton looking for its first field goal. Hard to move the ball in the scoring area, but that was good. A great, great, cut. Cut. great cut, great feed by Tolliver. Great likes to rub off that handoff play. Southern Illinois was waiting on it, and the counterman is. And sometimes when you go through and scout somebody, it can work against you. 
Right in front of the matchup zone. Young is hit twice from this spot. The Funk recovers. Mullins is not as much a threat to shoot the basketball. Steal there. Porter, and he's fouled by Tatum. That's two on Jamal Tatum. The old Bohemian fired up tonight, but he's got his hands full with the solutions. Southern Illinois, ninth in the nation in defense. Last year they were fourth. They're playing like that, holding Creighton to one field goal with 13.48 to go in the first half. Tonight's Prairie Farms, Missouri Valley Conference scholar athlete, Creighton's Emily Munn, a senior midfielder and uh, a two-time Valley soccer scholar athlete. Munn is a 3-5 GPA in chemistry. Two goals, three assists in 06. Academics important to the Valley. Let's salute Laura Engel, tonight's Prairie Farms, Missouri Valley Conference scholar athlete. Substitution for Southern Illinois. You've got a freshman on the ball right here. Only has played in four ball games, Mitch. Joshua Bone. Who had a broken foot to start Pierce Hidman with an easy layup set up by Goats. Josh, Joshua Bone took off, tried to steal the basketball, and that led to that play right there. You and I during the break said that both of these teams are gonna have. Actually, the best bench might help, might win this game. Falker underneath. And a traveling violation. Credit to Hip the back. Hip drops and doubles and saves the basket because it was a straight line to the basket. Creighton is undefeated when their bench gives them just five field goals or more. Hip has already given them one off the bench. Clemens in now for Southern Illinois as well. Deflection, Tolliver! Oh, <laughs> and a foul on Young of Southern Illinois. It's his second. That was a rather physical play. I'm telling you right now, when you get fouled, aren't you supposed to go down? Tolliver, absolutely. That's an attack foul right there. That's a, that's a tough play. If he, if you go back to his freshman year, he would have been in traction for two weeks. <laughs> well, As wouldn't. it is now, he looks at Young go down and kind of dusts his shoulders off. Like, what did I feel? I said, "There's Young with two fouls, but he's got this kid Tolliver, nerd to stud, in three and a half short years." Well, he understands the game. He understands what Dana Altman wants. Another rebound for Falker. Falker, a heck of a start here. Southern Illinois had three turnovers in the last four possessions after they made their first three shots. And now we have Clemens in the ball game along with Bone. Clemens has not scored a field goal in the last four ball games. So seven to shoot. Clemens drop kicks it. Now a steal. Ba with it against Mullins and bumped by Bone. Creighton is in the one and one, Charlie, with 12.25 to go in the first half. There's been two times, Mitch, that there's been a turnover. And Creighton has caused a turnover, and it looked as though they had an opportunity to get a run out basket. Both occasions, Mullins has caught up to the play, slowed it down, and kept him from getting a layup. Porter in for Funk. So Creighton is going to weather the storm, but shots in defense right back at it, Southern Illinois. And Nick Baugh goes to the line. Just six free throws all year. He's made three of them. He transferred from Kansas. He was at KU for a couple of years. He's a Lincoln kid, though. He's a very good high school athlete at Lincoln. Well, he comes from a football family. That'll, that'll hold him in good stead in this game. Three straight misses at the line for Creighton. Everybody's a little tight on both teams, really. Salukis have not scored in the last four and a half minutes. A lot of new people. No starters on the floor other than Mullins right now for, for SIU. 
One starter on the floor for Crate. No two counting for them. Mullins. Tyrone Green. Oh. He gets fouled. Manny Geku fouled him. You're living right when you get this call. 10-6 <laughs> Southern Illinois. Look how deep you go and you still just got five losses. Wichita State and five losses is much a part of this. Wichita State started 9-0. and They were ranked 8th in the nation. They're 3-5 and in the league. The league is currently 4th in the RPI rating. Relatively strength. Highest second at one point, currently fourth. No team in the league. No team in the league has a losing record. Our standings brought to you by Amron. They're always working hard to keep your power up. Cost down Amron. 365 and then some. They've been working overtime, Amron. It's all the weather in the Midwest. Well, this is going to be a great year for the fans. I'm not sure about coaches. Dotsler know where to go, decides to shoot it. And Creighton's going to keep it. <laughs> Seven on the shot clock. Dana's trying to trying to get that across that somebody needs to shoot it. Killing the screen. It's on Gecku. That's his second. Number 22, Manny Gecku. That's his second personal foul. The team's fourth. Number 44, Anthony Tolliver. He's turned. He's got a good officiating crew here, Mitch, and they're not going to let you do things that are not right to get people open. And this is not an easy game to officiate. Lots of emotion in this building. Again, the largest Valley crowd for a conference game in the 100-year history of the league. Over 17,000 here tonight. Southern's got a lot of movement against the zone, but they've got a lot of new guys. This is not the guys that are starters that are out there doing all this. Boyle out of choices, and there's a bonus basket for the Salukis. I don't think anyone thought he was going to shoot. Tolliver against Foster got pushed way out. Nice defense by Jamal Foster of the Salukis. If you use your body instead of your hands, you can get away with things. Southern Illinois, Tony Young, Jamal Tatum. There's an offensive foul on Boyle. Well, you hit a basket, and you have the feeling that maybe you could do something else. Well, closed captioning for this game is made possible by Emerson. To learn more, visit go to Emerson.com. Emerson, consider it solved. Well, Tony Boyle had the plus minus. Got the bucket and the offensive foul. But Creighton is having a difficult time to get a decent look. Two of 11. Mullins got a steal and then stepped on the line. Substitutions for the Mullins was pesky last year. Spoon. He had 94 steals in his freshman year. He's one of the most alert players in the league. He really, really has a great understanding of how to play. He's got tricky feet, too, man. His feet are always moving. Think you can get by him, but he'll be right in front of you. Five for the Salukis and around the Blue Jays. Turnover wise. Watts, he's good from three. Not that time. Creighton's not being able to make up any ground right here, Mitch, and they're, they're playing against a lot of guys that aren't starters. Bone, a decent shooter. Falker, saved by Clemens for Southern Illinois. And Creighton not able to make any headway. This is Shaw with Tony Young and Jamal Tatum sitting down with two fouls. Problems right here. You're playing against set defense. Offensive foul. Falker takes the charge. What a game Randall Falker has had. Falker's done a little bit of everything, Mitch. Sees the play. It's developing right in front of him. Manages to get in front and get the call. Watts has two fouls. He'll stay on the floor. There's a look at Randall Falker out of St. Louis. 23 against Missouri State, 20 against Wichita State. 
He's developed his left hand, Mitch, to the point I almost forget he's right handed. Twelve to six. Creighton with two field goals. Not very easy to play offense on either end of the floor. There's a foul. Miles bumps Mullins. Isaac Miles considered the top recruit in Kansas City last year. Played at Bishop Miege High School. 16 fouls on Creighton. Creighton has stayed in the zone and they got Porter down low trying to guard the post. You get into some when they change positions there comes the screen up there. Clemens drains it and he has been just horrible from three. <laughs> Two of his last 16 Charlie before that one. There's your double team. The 17,000 wanted a foul, didn't get it. Tolliver tries to zoom by Falk or Porter, not real good from three. Throwing the ball out's a good idea. That's not Nick Porter's best area. Six points for Creighton. They trail by nine. Southern Illinois, it bears repeating, has won three straight games here at Quest Center. Great defense by Porter in the post. Nice job. Again, Southern back. There's no transition there. Porter. Nice. Tolliver. They're going to count it. First basket, Charlie, for Anthony Tolliver. Baskets are hard to come by in this game. That took great passing, very unselfish play to get that basket. Not for the faint of heart, Creighton just picked up the third field goal. Creighton went six minutes and 20 seconds without a bucket. Finally got one from Anthony Tolliver. Nate Funk has been shut down. The league's leading score, no points, Charlie, so far in this game. And a reminder, our intermission report will come to you courtesy of Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, where our love for kids just keeps on growing. Well, Nate Funk is in a position where he has to bring the ball down the floor a lot, puts him in front of the whole defense. Everybody can key on him. If there's a screen involved, they double him. Southern's doing a great job. Tolliver 0 for 2 at the line for the game. Three point play this time though for the senior from Springfield Kickapoo High School. One of four players in this league from that high school. Southern Illinois again saddled with some foul problems. Tony Young, Jamal Tatum, they're two great guards. Setting down with foul trouble. Bone zings a three in. And there's a reason that he was runner up for Mr. Basketball in Tennessee, and there's part of it right there. And he was runner up too. Brendan Wright. <laughs> His own teammate. North Carolina Brendan Wright. A good get for Southern Illinois. Bone broke his foot again early in the season, just now back on the floor. Four threes for Southern Illinois. None yet for Creighton. 6 to shoot. Tolliver. Didn't hit the rim. So it's a shot clock violation. With Funk out, Creighton was going to the right place, though, going to Tolliver. Falker just held his ground. Tolliver got in deep enough that time, just couldn't get his feet turned. Oh, 
Six oh eight to go. Creighton trying to get to double digits against this great Saluki defense. Ninth in the nation. And a bucket a three this from Matt Shaw and a timeout for Dana Altman and the Creighton Blue Jays Southern Illinois leading 21 to 9 five three pointers for the Salukis Matt Shaw can shoot the basketball from out on the floor he shoots 36 percent and almost almost half his shots are three he's, he's very capable of doing it. Just what we saw. Shaw was big here last year in a Saluki win. 20 points and eight rebounds. Three of the last four trips for SIU have been three point makes. Dane Altman trying to get something going offensively. Three of 15 are the Blue Jays. Three of 15 and turn the basketball over, and, uh, and those that's, that's what gets you in trouble. They're going to check Shaw's last. Bucket to see if it's indeed a three. Looks like he's well behind the line. Yeah. Southern Illinois with some good wins. You mentioned beating St. Mary's of California, the team that upset Gonzaga the other night. The win that Southern Illinois got against Virginia Tech is like a fine wine. <laughs> it's getting better all the time when you see what the Hokies have done. Virginia Tech is playing so well right now. Now that they're in the league, the league wins have just been great. destination. Military. Southern Illinois 14 and 5 overall. Creighton at 12 and 6. Creighton undefeated at home, 8 and 0. That's as good a look as Funk has had yet in the game. Just a little off balance right then on the shot, but a good look, as you mentioned. There's your run by Southern Illinois of the last seven and a half, fueled by Saluki threes. Falker, a three-second violation. Three violation. Blue Jay that's a that's a very very nice play. It starts with one post man, Falker, then the cut up the lane, and the dump down. That's pretty good. Three-second violations are like bald eagles. You just don't <laughs> see them very often. You can see how hard it is to start an offense right there. Bump, bump by Shaw. And Funk will finally have a chance to score. Second foul on Shaw. The only problem, Charlie, here for the Egyptian dogs, foul issues. And that's something that, as this game goes along, if, if Creighton can cut into this lead at all, Creighton's got to, well, people are out of the game. Creighton needs to make a little bit of a comeback. Funk gets the free throw. He's very good there. 89 percent. He's 63 of 71 for the line. Porter's back for Creighton. How about Funk? He shoots. He's 12th in the country in free throw shooting. He's fourth in the league. <laughs> we got Ahern who hasn't missed third grade year. Anslinger at Evansville. I'm leaving somebody out. I'll think of it. Crouch, yeah, Crouch at Bradley. Falker, left hand. Foul. Depends on who they pick. I think it's Boyle. Yeah, I believe it's Boyle instead of Falker. That's his second. Shaw two, Boyle two, Young two, Bone two, Tatum two. Nick Porter shooting two. Chris Lowry's depth pretty good because he's got three fifths of his starters on the bench. Porter three of three at the line. He's got five points and actually leads Creighton in scoring. What a job Chris Lowry has done. A great point guard for Southern Illinois. The only person in the 100 year history of the Valley to win the tournament as both a player and a coach. Creighton trying to make a run, Charlie. As long as Mullins is on the floor, he organizes and he keeps the team under control. He really does a nice job. Chicago area kid that knows what he's doing. Crowd's trying to really give a lift right here. Bone has hit a three. How about another one? Joshua Bone. Nick Knack Paddywhack giving Egyptian dog a bone. Two threes. Funk's back in a hurry and an easy two. Nice. 
Chris Larry won't like that. That's the first time anything of that nature has happened. Bone again. That one quick. That's the freshman saying, watch me do it again. <laughs> Porter. That's what he can do. That was nothing more than playing in the backyard right there. Back to seven. Southern Illinois led 21 to nine at one point. 325 to go in the half. Going into Falker would not be a bad idea right now if you're Southern Illinois. Mullins off the skip. Easy look at the high post, but no finish for Boyle. Dotzler, Tolliver runs the floor and gets hacked inside. That's three on Boyle. That's the type play that Creighton has made early in ball games when their team is playing well. Center running. Both of these centers can run the floor. Southern Illinois and Creighton in a dog fight. The Egyptian dogs by 7, 307 left in the half when Metro Sports takes its television cameras on the road. These hotel properties are the homes away from home. And during this time of year in the Midwest, they are uh, points of respite. Follow your favorite team and stay at these great places throughout the Valley footprint. 17,000 plus in here tonight, the largest regular season crowd in the 100 year history of the Missouri Valley Conference. Tolliver, after missing his first two free throws, has hit his last two. And Creighton has used the line, Charlie, to get back in the game. That's exactly, that's exactly how they've gotten back. Used six free throws on a 10 3 run in the last three minutes. Salukis have had some very long and profitable possessions, and that's what they need right here. Looking for Falker, I think. Tolliver preventing that look. Ten to shoot. Mullins. Falker with oh, the tip in. Follow. He set the screen at the top of the circle. Chased down the lane and filled up, filled up the basket. Neat he, play. He is so fast, Charlie, in covering about 20 feet. And he's so aware of what's going on all the time on both ends of the floor. There's a bump. They tried to set a trap. Chris Lowry didn't like the call. Now, let's take a look, Charlie, at Randall Falker go to work underneath. This is with the clock running down. Here he's watching. Look at that. Just fit, just follows and makes the play. And you know, it's one of those in the tape room where you go, well, block him out. Well, he's coming from 15 feet away. And as athletic as he is, he's kind of hard to block out. And the defense was helping because, again, Mullins made the penetration. Mullins got around his man. Miles with a free throw, looking for another one. 79%. Mullins for the year. The, or I'm sorry, Miles for the year, freshman. He had 15 at Evansville. In a Creighton win. 26 21, Southern Illinois. 204 remaining in the first 20. And a frenzied first half here in Omaha. Creighton has outscored Southern Illinois 11 2 at the foul line. Several, several different Salukis. There's Falker. And he gets Tolliver on his hip and able to finish. Back to back possessions. Fruitful for Randall Falker. And a second personal foul on Anthony Tolliver of Creighton. So the Blue Jays continue to run their kind of matchup zone. But part of the matchup zone defending the post and Falker has been able to get some things done inside 28 21 Saluki's by seven 90 seconds remaining in the half. Oh, 
Dotzler nowhere to go. And a timeout called by Crate. 14 to shoot. So Creighton uses its lose, use it or lose it timeout. And a reminder that Valley Basketball brought to you by Aero Postal. Aero Postal providing scholarship through sponsorship. For all the latest trends in casual apparel for both guys and girls, visit us on the web at aeropostal.com. Chris Lowry's team, a great first half, the only exception fouling. As he's got Boyle with three. Shaw to Young to Bone to Tatum to. Dane Altman's club, five of 18 from the field has yet to hit a three. Southern has just put the clamps on him. 13 to seven, the team fouls. With Southern Illinois with 13 fouls. And Charlie Tolliver here with two has got to be careful in the last 120. Yeah, you can make sure you don't pick up a foul in this position for sure. Funk on an inbounds play. And Charlie, what about defending the post in this matchup zone that Creighton's played? I think the thing that Southern's done, they've been very active moving people in and out of the post. So one man can't just stay and be matched. And I think that's where the confusions come. Clemens stripped by Funk. Nate Funk. He's got six. Southern Illinois can essentially play for one shot here. You see the differential. It's about two and a half seconds between the game clock and the shot clock. And again, Mitch, you certainly wouldn't want Tolliver to pick up a foul here. Falker with the high screen. Mullins. No. There's a pushing foul underneath that's going to go against Crate. It's all right. Dane watch Charlie and that is his third. I tell you Falker is so active going after the basketball it's just hard to keep him away from the goal. Dane Altman did not like the call from Jerry Pollard and Falker will have one and one. I think Dane has got a few people here that agree with him. <laughs> 17,000 of his closest friends. Falker at the line just two of five. Creighton's got a chance here. Funk lines up. And at halftime, the Southern Illinois Salukis looking for their seventh straight win over Creighton, their fourth straight win here in Omaha. Lead Creighton 28 to 23. Creighton's season low at halftime, 23 in a loss at Indiana State. Let's go to Charlie Spooner. Coach, considering the start to get out only five down, you've got to feel pretty good about that. Well, we're not in bad shape. We haven't hit any shots, and uh, we haven't stopped anybody. It, it was a bad half for us. Hopefully we can bounce back here, but they had their best two guards sitting on the bench with foul trouble, and they bring those guys back. They'll be fresh, so we've got our work cut out for us. Thanks, Dana. Our Mercy Health Plans chat with the coaches all year long brought to you by Mercy Health Plans, an innovative health management company empowering members to make healthy choices. The way we care makes all the difference. Southern Illinois using their normal suffocating defense trying to silence this crowd of 17,000 plus the Salukis lead by five at intermission. Mitch Holtis back along with Charlie Spoonar. We've talked about Southern Illinois now defensively. That 20 minutes, with the exception of the fouling, 
was absolutely suffocating Creighton sets. Well, it's so difficult to run an offense. That's the thing that I was so impressed with. Creighton could not get the ball into the areas where they are effective, and that's that's the idea behind defense. And yet the Blue Jays just within five. Dana Altman's fortunate he's not down 10 or 15 here. Free throw, just as you mentioned, the fouls, being able to score at the free throw line, that helps. Finally, a run out basket, that helps. And the fact that with the people on the bench, then Southern couldn't distance himself, and so now it's a close bargain. Welcome back to a sold out Quest Center in Omaha, but Southern Illinois trying to get its seventh straight win over Creighton, leading by five at halftime on our Cardinal Glennon. In a mission report brought to you by Cardinal Glennon Children's Medical Center, where our love for kids just keeps on growing. There is a sight of the crowd here. Let's take a look at our first half stats, a presentation of Pepsi Cola, the official soft drink of the Missouri Valley Conference. Look at the first line, huge. We talked about the bench would have to contribute for both teams. Southern Illinois winning by nine in that category. Also, the Saluki, six three-point makes, none yet for Creighton. Southern Illinois' defense has just shut them down from the perimeter for the most part. Southern Illinois turned it over nine times. And points in the paint, Creighton with that advantage, 12 to four. And Southern Illinois only had Tony Young with seven minutes played. Jamal Tatum with six because of foul issues. And yet Southern Illinois leads by five. 28-23, Salukis. Aeropostal providing scholarship through sponsorship presents tonight's Valley legend, Southern Illinois' Walt Frazier. Best known as Clyde the Glide, he led a Jack Hartman coach Southern Illinois Saluki team to the 1967 NIT championship at Madison Square Garden in New York against Marquette. He would later be a first round pick to the New York Knicks. A seven time NBA All Star, he would help the Knicks pick up an NBA championship. For all the latest trends and casual apparel for both guys and girls, visit us on the web at aeropostal.com. Southern Illinois with six three pointers and great defense leading Creighton at halftime 28 23 in our Cardinal Glennon halftime report. Check in now with our Mercy Health plans for the second half. Charlie Spoonar with Coach Lowry. While you, had, while you had everybody out there, your offense looked good. Your defense was good no matter who was in there. Right. Well, we just got to stay focused and fight this crowd and just play with some composure. Have a good second half. Thank you. Our chat with the coaches all year long brought to you by Mercy Health Plans, an innovating health management company empowering members to make healthy choices. The way we care makes all the difference. Southern Illinois led at one point 21 to nine. But leading by five as we get ready to start the second half of play. Randall Falker, six points for Randall Falker, but it's the other stuff he's done. Two blocks. Four rebounds and otherwise wreaking havoc in the middle of that great matchup zone. He does such a nice job of filling and helping defensively. And any time that his man screens, when he double teams, he doesn't foul. He's really been a, he's been a big factor on that end of the floor. See what Tony Young and Jamal Tatum can do for Southern Illinois. They are back on the floor after being. Hampered with foul trouble in the first 20 minutes. Creighton stays in the zone. A lot of movement through the middle of the zone. Falker against Tolliver. Nice pivot and finish. Falker just takes off in the second half where he left off in the first 20. And Tolliver didn't want a foul there, and Falker got deep, and that's what happens. Salukis by seven. Corner. Thing hit the bottom of the rim. And the Salukis who jumped to a really great start in the first half would like to do the same thing this half. Fifteen to shoot. Creighton trying to communicate in the zone. Falker has the last six Saluki points. He awaits at the right of your screen against Tolliver. And traveling on Tatum. Tatum's had a rough night. He's two points. It's hard to get back in the flow of a game like this after you've had to sit and watch for 14 minutes. It's so hard to get in the flow of this game <laughs> anytime. 
Anytime you think you're going to get in the flow, somebody's going to whack you upside the head. Falker with defense on Tolliver. And didn't foul his body. He makes contact with his body, but not with his hands. Shaw trailing. Ooh. Robbed on the three. Watts nails it. That was a little more like it. He mentioned in the first half that's his shot. He beat Missouri State on a similar shot here. Back on the December 31st game. Mitch, this zone offense starts fairly balanced and then it. A little off there. But then it goes almost into a total overload. The official crowd 17,459. Largest crowd ever for a basketball game in the state of Nebraska. And again, the largest crowd in Valley history in the regular season. Creighton within four. They get another bucket. This place will go bonkers. I don't think the defense is quite as hard as it was in the first half. Possibly because guys are not wanting to pick up that third foul. Creighton's within two. This is where Southern though is so very tough Charlie they're five and there's a back cut. Shaw just sneaks in the back porch. And the freshman and Nick Porter both got confused on I think on who to take right there. Did you see the look on Shaw's face on the close up. <laughs> I was just going to mention Southern Illinois backs down from no one anywhere five and four on the road this year. Nice help that time by Falker again. I'm telling you, when his man catches, and that's Tolliver, he really does a great job of helping. Now, here's Shaw. How much of the zone has got to be communication? You've got to talk, don't you? You do, particularly when you're matching up and you're following cutters, and that's, that's the thing that happened on that occasion. Funk fouled by Mullins. Funk is a little stronger right now and a little more under control than he was early in this ballgame. Even though he's a fifth year player, this is a big game. And this is a huge crowd. And this, you know, it's a, if you came out here and just were ho hum, well, you wouldn't be normal. Funk at the line in his career against Southern Illinois. Has made 11 of 12 shots against the Salukis at the line. Mullins will set down. He's only got two fouls, but. It's a little uh, lesson from Chris Lowry. In Altman's teams within two again. A little different look out of the press here. Three quarter court. Now a double team for almost. Creighton trying to get some intensity here defensively. I say you got to communicate. It's hard to hear yourself even <laughs> thinking here. The Lucas have gone to the paint for the last eight points. Walker, a little too far out that time. Shaw chased the rebound but couldn't get it. Porter, oh. fast. <laughs> Offensive foul, Porter. Falker's second charge he's taken tonight. He's a post player, Charlie. That's a guy who shot the ball. How many times have you seen a guy shoot it, then pout and not run back? Falker sprints back and draws a charge. No pouting tonight. <laughs> Schultz is back with Charlie Spooner in Omaha. Southern Illinois leading by two. 1552 to go in the game. Let's check our Casey's general score. General scores. Scores around the league. Casey's general score, convenience scores, and a whole lot more. Well, Wichita State got to find a way to make up some points pretty quick. And look at Royce Walton. Winning at the McLeod Center. Royce lurks <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Sneaky Royce Walton and Wichita State has got to stop the bleeding. If they lose tonight, they're three and six in the league. 
There was your offense, though. It was it shifted four people over one side of the floor and one at the head of the circle. Hawker has got a lane and, and a bucket. He's got ten. Get matched up, and then all of a sudden, something like that happens. Tolliver, bad pass by Funk, and Watts can't save it. That was nearly a good play. At one time, Creighton was winning the scoring in the paint 10 0. Right now, it's about even, but Falker is winning most of the battles in the paint. He wants it again. Southern Illinois is doing this with only two from Tatum and six from Young. There's the pull up not there miles with a be easy board. You can push it down the floor but it's hard to find anything easy. Southern is so good in transition Falker. Tolliver works hard Shaw is going to be called for the foul. <laughs> Shaw. Shaw was probably wondering how he got to be the villain there. <laughs> there were other guys that could have could have had a foul before me, he says. Three fouls on Matt Shaw and two shots for Anthony Tolliver. Missed his first two, now he's made his last four. Talking about lines that Falker had looking at Chris Lowry. He's done a brilliant job. In fact, Southern Illinois, again, in the last five years, they're 11th in the country with 140 wins. Only one of 15 schools, Charlie, to play in the NCAA tournament the last five years. That's been with three different head coaches. I was going to say, you do it with different personnel, different head coaches, the result is the same. They can ball up in Little Egypt. Two point lead for the Egyptian Dogs at 14 10 to go in the game. Falker. That's a third foul on Tolliver. Falker. <laughs> I don't think you're going to hurt that young man just by bumping him. Dane Altman trying to contemplate what he can do with his zone. To prevent Falker getting looks and touches. Falker did have one basket on a drive from the head of the circle. That was on a slip screen there. And this is where the problem occurs. You draw the foul, then you've got to hit the free throw. SIU two of nine at the line. Falker is two of seven. Correction two of six. Two of seven, sorry. Not his forte. Right now, it's the only cavity in his game tonight. It's the role there. Creighton has never led. <laughs> Tolliver, smaller player on him. Tatum recovers. Quickness. Tatum has drawn the foul on Nick Barr. I don't think anyone has gone into the paint tonight without the next the next you're getting up for Nick Barr. That's his first person. The team's third. It's going to be two shots for Jamal Tatum. Jamal Tatum to the line for Southern Illinois. Shooting two. Tatum 29 against Evansville earlier this year. Salukis last year won the Valley Tournament. Chris Lowry. First two years going to the NCAA tournament. Number 12, Josh Tulsa checks in for the Blue Jays. Back to a five point Southern Illinois lead. He's in for number 20, Pierce Sepon. Five two run for Southern Illinois.
Tolliver. Going right at Falker. That's only the first foul on Randall Falker of Southern Illinois. Not much of a foul right there simply because he doesn't swat at the ball. He just sticks his hands up and he uses his body. Anthony Tolliver to the line for the Blue Jays. Reaches in then more than he usually does. And these guys, Charlie, get their feet set on defense. All five of them. As good as any team I've seen in a while. They're usually in great position. The thing about them, they can't afford. I know you'd say, well, they've got to quit fouling, but they cannot afford to quit playing the way they play. They've got to play hard, and it's just got to be, let's get after it. Tolliver, after making six in a row, misses one at the line. Four point lead, Southern Illinois, 13 10 to go. Falker again. Nick Porter has to come a long way from where he started to get there to seal the back part of that. Randall Falker to the line for the Salukis, shooting two. Creighton staying in the game at the foul line, 16 to 20. Walker's hit two in a row. They'll call off school. <laughs> on day at Southern Illinois. He's in for number 44, Anthony Tillman. <laughs> Watts. Not an easy rebound. Oh, look at. Right, a little nervous. They had. Corner open, he could not catch it. Then the feed into the middle with Tolliver out of the game is not as catchable either. Charlie, now you have Funk low in the zone defense. Creighton is playing with a forward and four guards right now. And Nick Porter's the other seal off man at the bottom. Chris Lowry's thinking, find Falker again. Tatum cranks a three. And a loose ball picked up by Southern Illinois. Bond nearly steals. I don't know how they know when to set the clock. Everybody's had it for a little while. Creighton has a great dental school. They might need him. There's a reach around. That's on Watts. And that is his fourth. Correction, third person. Three personal fouls on Watts. 38 33 Southern Illinois, 11 59 to go. Southern Illinois clinging that five point lead. They had it at halftime. 11 59 to go in the game. Time now for this date in Valley history brought to you by the Sheraton St. Louis City Center Hotel. It's 2003. Larry House. At a 23 point game, Creighton, school best 10th in the AP poll, beat Illinois State by 12. And traveling to St. Louis, visit Sheraton.com, St. Louis, to make your reservation at the Sheraton City Center Hotel, the official St. Louis Hotel of the Valley. Staying with the matchup, and Funk is still down low. I see how far out he has to come when they shift and start running people and changing sides. For all intents and purposes, Mitch, that's, that becomes a man to man defense. Reach in by Watts, loose ball, tie up, it's Creighton's arrow. Ooh, they're going to say Creighton had possession and a timeout. So the arrow stays with Creighton. 11.26 to go in the game. We'll take the break. Southern Illinois still leading by five, looking for a fourth straight win in Omaha. Back in Omaha, Southern Illinois leading by five with 11.26 to go in the game. Tonight's game in the Valley brought to you by Aeropostal. Visit us on the web at aeropostal.com for all the latest trends and casual apparel for both boys and girls. Aeropostal providing scholarship through sponsorship. Creighton has tried to make the climb. Southern Illinois will not let them get over the hump. Tolliver against Falker shut down. Ba waiting on a quick release on a three and not there. Ba had five threes against Greg. Had to shoot it a little quick in that occasion. Now we've lost a headband. Greg 
Brayton staying in the matchup zone, trying to find Falker, who has been their nemesis. Great, hat left hook, no, and a foul. It's on Watts. And that's four fouls on Dane Watts. They can't stop Falker, and they're going to Count the basketball Randall Falker. So they're going to give the basket to Falker. That is 14 points for Falker. And a chance for a three-point play. And that's at least two occasions where Falker has driven the ball from 15 to 17 feet and laid it in. And number three, Nick Porter. Falker 14 points, six boards, two blocks. You got to get the big mid out though. Sometimes when he shoots those free throws, because that's a knuckleball. <laughs> Seven point lead for Southern Illinois. Free throws. Have kept Creighton in the game and have kept SIU from running away. Oliver tries to get the dunk. He gets yanked by Jamal Foster. Good foul Foster, his first by a man coming scored. off the bench. Anthony Oliver to the line. Remember the motto of this game: no easy baskets. <laughs> Everyone bought in. Oliver eight points, but just one field goal. I can't believe Falker's going to take a blow. But it ain't long. There he is. Catch your breath. One, two, good. Go back in. <laughs> Five point lead, Southern Illinois. 10 15 to go in the game. Had a couple threes early. It looks like he'd like to shoot another one. Yeah, the trigger. Now with Falker out of there, Young just pulls. Out of bounds to Creighton. So no inside option that time for Southern Illinois. It's easier to cover the perimeter guys when you don't have to help and worry about running from the backside and cover. It's been hard to put baskets to string baskets in a row if you're Creighton. Nate Funk held to just 10 points. Miles with a reverse layup. Freshman on freshman. And Miles got the baseline and beat the Creighton within three. Again, no Falker. Nine to shoot. Mullins wide open. No, Funk at the board. Creighton can tie with a three. A reach in. Mullins points at Bone saying, why don't you take it? No, he gets it. That's three fouls. <laughs> you better not put the ball in front of you against Southern Illinois because they're going to grab it. Creighton has been within two points. They've never led. They've been within two points four times. And it's hard to catch up with a three because you can't get an open three. Only one three point make, Charlie, for Creighton in the game. That was Watts. Well, I'll guarantee you, if Funk gets one, there's a mistake being made. There's a hold underneath, and both Pollard Seven and Jansen eight. make the same call, and they go against Tony Young, Tony and that's Young his, third. his third. Personal, the team's sixth. 
And both officials, interestingly enough, blew their whistles at the same time. I was just getting ready. I was looking at the at the Saluki bench. I wonder where is Falker? Well, he's checking in. Funk, nice curl on the inbounds play and foul on the shot. Young's got four. I mean, in nanoseconds, Young gets three and four. Chris Lowry is not happy simply because you really need him. You, you want to play good defense, but you don't need to try to block the shot. You, your team needs you in the ball game. Funk. Five of five at the line. 67. 75 for the year. Young has to set down with his foul woes. And Creighton can get within one with their 20th made free throw. And they do. One point game. And Falker is back trying to get open against Tolliver. Porter with the steal. Athletic. Yep. Tolliver for the lead. Yeah. Hibma's hustle will save the possession for Craig. I feel like we're going to have some sort of hearing loss tomorrow. You know an audiologist? <laughs> 8.05 to go in the game. Hibma, no. Hibma, Hibma kept Falker from getting the ball after the block. That was a good play. Then he went running out, so I'm going to go near new midcourt <laughs> for a while. <laughs> Funk for the lead. Hard shot. Against good defense. Might be about time for a timeout. 17,439. Timeout, Chris Lowry. This place is going points. 41 to 40 Creighton at 732 left to go in the game. This is the shot right here that's gonna get, going to get the lead. Look at that. That's a hard shot. Defense is good against Tyrone Green, the junior college transfer, whose forte is guarding. And he defense is good. That's a, that's a great shot. The largest crowd in the 100-year history of the Valley in a regular season conference game. There have been some larger non-conference crowds in Northern Iowa in the Unidome. You know what the tournament's going to be like this in St. Louis. The three ticket sales for the tournament in St. Louis are at unprecedented levels. There's 17 large in the building tonight. There could be this kind of crowd in St. Louis for the tournament. Um, there'll be a few more people in Saluki outfits when we get to St. Louis. Kind of hard to find them in here tonight, Saluki outfits. As long as they've got the ones on the floor, they're in business. Including Falker. Mullen Great. sets up Falker with the flush. <laughs> and Tolliver has fouled for the fourth time. I would say that that's with authority. Creighton has a problem. Tolliver has four fouls. Back in Omaha where it is wild. Southern Illinois leading by one. Let's go to our game reset, Charlie. A service of Emerson. To learn more, go to Emerson.com. Emerson, consider it solved. You look at the score, we know what it is. Falker's got a chance to hit, but he's 4 of 11, Mitch, going into this free throw right here. But four fouls on Anthony Tolliver of Creighton. Falker, a three-point play, 17 points. And back to a two-point lead for Southern Illinois. And this is the toughness of the Egyptian dogs called the Salukis. They get down one. The crowd's going nuts. They get a three-point play. Tolliver, he's fouled. That's four on Shaw. 
Leave him in, go to him. Anthony Tolliver to the line for the Jays, shooting two. The Salukis, when they look at their numbers tonight, they're, they're going to look at the numbers for uh, for Mullins, and they're going to say, well, he didn't get a field goal so far, blah, blah, blah. Look at the times. He was broken the defense down with his penetrations and passes. He was responsible for the last basket. I mean, he's just done a great job. And then defensively, he runs back, keeps people from getting transition. I'm amazed, Charlie, at the amount of college basketball teams around the country who either won't or can't recruit a kid like that because you got to go find a kid. And I know it seems like, but there's how many teams in the country do not have a kid named Brian Mullins? Well, all the ones of them that are getting beat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sure. It's so it's, it's so in vogue to get great athletes, guys who can jump over the scoreboard. Getting somebody that understands how to play is very important. So Illinois has figured that out. Tie game at 6.30 to go. There it goes again. Porter with the rebound. Tolliver. Fed Tolliver again. Oh, man down. Tolliver against the double team. Funk strong. What a, move. what a move by Funk. Unbelievable. The senior from Sioux City, Iowa. And that's for the lead right there. Speed and strength. Twice Funk has given his team the lead. The only two leads Creighton has had in this entire game. Tatum. Ball with the rebound. Great job of getting an open shot by rotating people, a wide open shot, but they just didn't hit it. But wouldn't you want to try to find Falker on a couple of rotations like they've been doing the whole game? Yeah. We'll give and go. Tolliver, two possession lead for Creighton. Great basket right there. Funk and Tolliver have turned into Batman and Robin. Steel Miles. Rob Porter. And a foul. And a foul. The end of the play. A totally unnecessary foul by Tyrone Green. Play. Everybody's going to say, great, great job of stealing the basketball. There's the knockdown at the end. But the whole thing, the whole thing in a nutshell, the play's made from the floor by Ba, I believe. He doesn't call a timeout, has the presence of mind to make the play. They advance it and the basket. Miles also helping out on that sequence. Creighton was down. Let's take a look here on the steal. I think Miles got it initially, and then Baugh got it to Miles. Funk gets the assist, and Porter's athleticism on both ends of the floor have been very important tonight. This is a good game for Nick Porter to be in. There's Isaac Miles. He got the poke initially in the press. And how about Craig now? Down 21 to nine at one point. Couldn't climb over the hill. Couldn't climb over the hill. They get a seven point lead with this free throw. Shooting one for the Blue Jays. Porter in double figures. This would be his 11th point. Be interesting to see where Southern goes. I'm guessing, as you've been mentioned, they'll go to the middle. Oh, my. Miles nearly steals it and gets the foul. <laughs> that was nearly a turnover. Creighton foul, number one, Isaac Miles, his second. The team is Eight team fouls, one and one. For Southern Illinois. A 17 to three run by Creighton. Returns to the game for the Blue Chase. He's in for number 17-3, Charlie. They couldn't get a bucket in the first half. I was going to say, a lot of this has come off broken plays, hustle plays. Mullins, 76% at the line. 
Last year's Valley Freshman of the Year. Chris Lowry knows about guard play. You had to coach against him. I didn't enjoy it either. <laughs> That's Mullen's first two points. And it couldn't come at a better time for Southern Illinois. Steal by Mullins. Long way to go at the 438 mark. Only one Southern Illinois field goal in the last 10 minutes. Porter fouls. Falker back to the line. When Falker is in the middle, it just changes the, every, the way everything's played defensively. Five of 12 is Falker at the line. Eighteen for Falker. Chris Lowry and his staff have done an excellent job of recruiting. And they have put class after class after class together. They've lost a lot of good players and they just keep bringing them. And they develop them. That's been a byproduct of this league, Charlie. They develop guys in this league. I think just what you said, develop players. Double team right here. Vaughn trouble. Kick. How can they have four men on me? <laughs> That's got to be what Boss thinking, because there's people everywhere. That little dribble handoff they do, you're going to find most of the student body of Southern Illinois waiting for you on that. Oh, he'll leave the screen. That was right. Watts is fouled out. Number 50, Dane Watts, his fifth personal. The team's tenth. Defensive intensity picks up. The natural inclination is I've got to free up. I've got to free up my dribbler. Maybe you can make a little bit of extra effort here. Drops the shoulder, moves Drops the, the hip. Shoulder. Just a little. Oh. Dane Altman's got a he's got a problem here because now he loses a post guy and his, in the second half he's answered by playing four guards in that century. Well now he's only he's got Tolliver with four fouls correct. Yes sir. With that going on. You can ill afford now for Tolliver to pick up another foul there's still four four plus minutes to go in this game. Big possession every time now. And still 4.05 to go. Creighton by three. Hidma almost picked that one. Now Porter is doing a nice job of denying the ball to Young. Falker on the give and go, pick and roll. He's got 21 and he's closing in on a career high. Timeout, Dana Altman is teeing up one and still 3.34 to go. A 6 0 Saluki run after Crate went on a 17 3 run. There are, there are different plays that I'm sure Dana Altman knows can possibly work in a situation like this. So he's going to run a set, particularly, I would think, to get something either for Tolliver or for Funk. Tolliver, particularly, again, because he's got four times. How about Randall Paul? <laughs> Great screen, rolls to the basket, finishes. Doesn't foul. For a man that's as active as he is, does not foul much. Only fouled out of two games this year. The steal. Moments ago by Mullins is huge too. Yeah, just when Creighton thinks they're going to get a run on the clock, and Tatum trying to heat up Nick Ball here. Hard to run an offense. <laughs> well, you're talking about setting up a play. Looks good on a computer until Southern Illinois throws a computer virus at you. There he is on there. And, and one. I don't know how that happened. A long 
possession. Defense was excellent by the Salukis till the final, the final pass. Where was Falker on this? I don't know. He was covered high. He went high for some reason. Creighton leading 52-49, 308 to go in front of this huge crowd. Let's announce our State Farm player of the game for Southern Illinois. Meet the Falker, Randall Falker. <laughs> 21 points, six rebounds. He has missed some free throws, but that's the only thing that's been bad on his end. On the cusp of a career high and Nate Funk for the Creighton Blue Jays. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there, our State Farm players of the game. Tolliver, a three-point play, 17 for Tolliver. He's been to the line 14 times. Four-point lead for Creighton, still three minutes to go. Shaw, not sure about that shot. Tolliver's got it. A tie-up, Creighton's got the arrow. Jerry Pollard has called something. He called a held ball, <laughs> and Creighton gets the arrow. I think is what he wanted. Inadvertent whistle. Oh, Use inadvertent whistle. Ball. Inadvertent whistle. So the arrow will not move. Big play. Now the interesting thing: can you run your offense? Creighton gets the ball and doesn't lose the arrow and a four point lead. Back cut. cut. Blocked by Falker, his third of the game. <laughs> Tatum. <laughs> I'm telling you, call for the 82nd Airborne Division. Oh, my. Tolliver's fouled out. Creighton's got to go 217, Charlie, without their two close players. Well, I'd say that's not a blueprint for success on a lot of occasions. Tolliver did a nice job of moving his feet. Paul Jansen talks with Dana Altman. Dana Altman didn't like that call. Chris Lowry didn't like the inadvertent whistle too much. Well, when we get all done with this, somebody's going to have to come in and play center and rebound the basketball. You don't have to score in this particular part of the game, but you've got to rebound and defend. It's, that's imperative. Blue Jays, when they faced, they were trying to. There's Tolliver out, fouled out with 17 points. They're going to go with Isaac Miles. So you take your center out at 6'9 and put in a 6'2 point guard. Well, Young is probably going to make his free throws. Right. That's one thing. So it, rebounding here is not that much of an issue. But when you have to play defense, it may be a little scary. Young is 83% at the line. He has not scored in the second half. All Valley a year ago. With a backspin roll. For sorry. <laughs> Breathe a sigh of relief. That may be a two towel play right there. Still 217 to go. This allows Southern Illinois to press. And Falker is going to have to guard somebody. And this other end of the floor that could take him out on the floor and maybe cause him a problem. Creighton with one timeout. Let oh Miles my. Jacks a three. Ooh, the freshman. He was open. Dribble penetration by Porter gets you a good shot. Now here's where it gets interesting. Hibma trying to hang with Falker. A three would give Southern Illinois the lead. Much shot clock right here. Mullins. Leaner. Tie game. 
Creighton's going to find out they've got to score the ball right here now. It's going to have to find a way. Creighton has one timeout left, so Dana Altman's got to be careful when he uses that. You'd think Funk would try to get the look here. Zooms around Tatum. Oh, my. And shoots it over Falker. <laughs> Three times he's given his team the lead in this half. One minute, to One, minute. One minute to go. Creighton by two. Listen to the crowd, Mitch. Is this just wild? Shaw around Funk tied up. Yes. Nobody inside to change or alter the shot. Can't hold for one. There's going to be 13 second differential at least. Again, again, a clear out. And Southern Illinois. Ooh. And a foul on Hibma. He fouls Jamal Tatum at 36 seconds remaining in the game. And Tatum 79% at the line, and it's the double bonus. And now, in the event of a miss, here's the scary part. You can see the height differential between Porter and Falker, but the same same's true on the other side of the line. Tatum with two shots. Chris Lowry. His team trying to get a sixth road win. This would give Southern the lead. Yep. Tatum at 36 seconds. Creighton has the timeout remaining. And the game clock, shot clock almost synchronized. Fractions of a second different. Flatten out. Ooh. Porter around Shaw. And a foul on Shaw. He's gone. He goes at 18.9 to go. So what Creighton has done here three straight times, Charlie, has had isos. Twice for Funk. Once it worked, another time it didn't, and then an iso for Porter. And it worked this time. Now, how effectively it works depends on if the ball goes to basket. Porter gets two shots. He's 5 of 5 at the line for the game. He's 79 percent of the year. Last year, the Valley Newcomer of the Year came in as a junior college transfer. I watched him play in Las Vegas when he was a high school player. One thing he's always been athletic and he's always played hard. This would give Creighton the lead. Oh. Got it. The roll. Southern Illinois can win it with this shot. Timeout, Chris Lowry. Now the wheels turn, Mitch. And I'm curious what Dana Altman will do with his lineup here defensively. I'm, I'm curious about his lineup. I'm curious if he'll come out and say, let's play our zone just like we have been all night. We've done pretty well. Does he do something outrageous like trap somebody? I mean, you just don't know. With over 5,000 hotels to choose from, there's bound to be a choice hotel wherever you're headed. Book your stay by calling 877-240-2929 or visit choicesportstravel.com and get your best internet rate guaranteed. We'll see you there. Interesting substitution by Chris Lowry. The freshman, Joshua Bone, comes in the ball game. Another score. A lot of confidence in him. I'm curious if Creighton will try to put in what their defensive lineup will be here. Because they're going to be small at one spot. Whomever's guarding Randall Falk. Well, you know now, if you say no more, you're not holding to the last shot. You're taking your first good look, and then you're going after the ball on the board. If you're Creighton, you've got to make sure you rebound. Usually, not usually, but often, the shot that beats is not the first shot, but it's the follow shot. Randall Falker, 21 points in this game, six rebounds. Creighton has not had an answer for him. Well, you'd have to think Falker setting a screen, rolling to the basket, Mullins taking the ball, having shooters on the side, got some merit to it. Hidma has to guard Falker at the right of your screen. Southern Illinois can win with this shot. 
Mullins one on one against Porter. Leans. Got it with 4.1 to go. Brian Mullins with the leaner. He had no points up until the final couple of minutes to the game. And he's at six at crunch time. Using him off the dribble's pretty good and having him make a decision. I didn't know that he would look for his shot, but I'll say one thing. His, his judgment on this play is excellent. Hibma does a good job here. Hibma stays with Falker. But the left-hander got it on the left side of the floor, his dominant side, and able to use that inertia to get the basket. And now everyone's got home run or Valpo, Valpo play. or Spoon. Or. It was run a few times before Valpo did it, but they had a lot of fun with theirs. Okay, keep an eye on the clock. We're trying to see how much time to put on the clock. There is the basket. Four one looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep four one. Paul Jansen just looked at the timer and said, "Good job." Just remember, you can go the length of floor on the dribble in 4.2 seconds fairly easily. I'm sure any Missouri Tiger fan can remember that from the days when the days that against UCLA. Starts with a U. Yeah. Okay. Now Funk is fast enough that he can do it. You can also you can throw it in. You got dopes in the ball game now. But you can throw the ball in and get it back to Nick Porter, and he can get it down the floor also. Porter's got all 53 feet of the baseline to use. He'll use part of it. Here comes Good. Funk. Funk to try to win it. Leans. Oh, oh, he nearly banked it in. Nate Funk. <laughs> oh, man. Nearly banked in that shot. Instead, Southern Illinois gets its fourth straight win in Omaha. Seven straight wins over the Creighton Blue Jays for Chris Lowry's Egyptian dogs barking on the banks of the Mississippi River. Defense, 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 and then playing with poise at the end of the ball game. Great job by, by Southern Illinois to come in here and win. Excellent comeback by Creighton. And the league race continues. Let's go to our Rawlings play of the game. Rawlings, the official athletic equipment of the Valley. You know what it's going to be. Brian Mullins. Mullins is, I think, hoping he can throw it to Falker. Nothing's there. And then Funk had a shot that hit the glass. It hit the rim and spun just out. And Southern Illinois continues its mastery over the Creighton Blue Jays. Creighton now six and three on the year. Southern Illinois is six and three on the year. The nation's best non-BCS basketball conference showed you what it's all about tonight. Southern Illinois gets the victory for Charlie Spoonar. I'm Mitch Holtis. Enjoy the rest of your Valley basketball weekend.